Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths. The mistake a lot of victims of narcissistic abuse make is when it's concerning the new supply. They believe this narcissist that was involved in their life is going to go on to the new supply and is going to torment them the same way they tormented you, is going to abuse them the same way they abused you. And you perceive the new supplier as a victim. But I want to bring to your attention that's not always the case. Not 100% of the time. You see, um, what you've got to realise has occurred is this narcissist that was involved in your life was caught in this new supply throughout the duration of when you were still together. I'm not trying to trigger any of you here, but this is what most likely occurred. You see, a narcissist can't be without supply. They can't be without a supply source. So, for whichever reason, you know, possibly you inflicted narcissistic injuries on them. They wanted to get revenge on you. They wanted to discard you or reverse discard you to make you feel unwanted, unloved. Um, they were taming their new supply during this process. And the new supply knew about you heard it countless times from victims of narcissistic abuse that the new supply knows who they are, knows about them. Things that you've shared, maybe in secret perhaps with the narcissist involved in your life, they've shared with this new supply. Things that you confided in them about, they've shared with the new supply in a heartbeat, you know. And the thing is, is this narcissist that was involved in your life gets duped by the new supply. They get duped. You see, the new supply can be just as toxic as they are. So they know how to manipulate. They know how to deceive. It's not always the case, you know. It's not always the case. But what, what you've got to realise is um, narcissists tend to get delusional. After being with the chosen one and the empath, they get delusional. They believe that they can do better. They believe that people are going to treat them the same way that you treated them. And it's just not the case. You know, you're a rarity. You know, you're a, you're a precious jewel that should have been looked after and treasured. But they didn't appreciate you. You know. So, for whichever reason, them transitioning to this new supply occurred. Whether it was you were discarded, reverse discarded, or you even cut them off because they become too toxic. Um, and it could be for a whole load of reasons, like, like I mentioned earlier, um, you inflicting narcissistic injuries, you being uncontrollable, not, not them not being able to control you in the right way. You having a certain level of resilience, despite the abuse and everything that you went through. Um, all of these things can cause the narcissist to start looking elsewhere, thinking that they can get the whole package elsewhere. And... This is the thing, is when they transition over to the new supply at first, I'm not trying to trigger any of you now, but they're ecstatic, they're relieved, they feel like they've struck gold, they feel like they've got everything they wanted, right? But this quickly fades and dies, this quickly fades and dies, and the narcissist involved in your life will begin to realise that they've been duped, that this new supply doesn't have a shed of what you had. And the thing is, as well, is they've become accustomed to the way you used to do things. So it's quite shocking for them to deal with someone who isn't as loving, isn't as transparent, isn't as pure, isn't as empathetic as you are. All of the things that they got used to and took for granted with you, they don't have in another person. And that's what shocks the system. Now, if you was a fly on the wall and you was bearing witness to this narcissist and the new supply you'd be in complete shock because you'd see how um, there's friction between them. They're not, they're, they're not getting along. Things aren't all ro rosy and great, you know. You may have bared witness to things being rosy and great on social media. But if you look between the detail, you can often see um, signs of their regret. You can often see, even in, even in the most doctored image, 
that you see on social media. You can often see, but if you look deeper in the detail, that they're more or less putting this picture out just to trigger you, you know? The whole reason why they're even putting this picture out is to trigger you because they've got a rough idea that you may still be watching or you, you're you looking on their social media. And a lot of the times they're right. Some of you do resort to, because of the lack of closure, you do resort to looking on their social media. But if you've bared witness to them moving on with the new supply, um, that can be your ammunition to draw a line in the sand. That can be... Uh, that can be your decision maker to know it's over and done with, you know, there's no second chances. Your life's not a revolving door. You're not going to let them back in, right? You need to be affirmative in that stance. But look, they're going to blame the new supply for losing you. The longer and longer they spend with this new supply and the less and less that this new supply is in contrast to you. Um, it angers the narcissist, it makes them rage, it makes them furious, they're pissed off, you know, they get irritated. But they can't show it to their flying monkeys and they can't show it to the outside world, but all of this is bubbling on beneath the surface. They may not even make the new supply, no, but they may just lash out from time to time. And I'm not talking abusively, maybe possibly, but I'm saying they'll lash out, they'll be irritable, They'll be frustrated, you know, because they were accustomed to the way that you used to treat them and the way that you used to do things. So just understand that everything's not all sunshine and rainbows over there with a the new supply. You know, a lot in your mind, you may envision some picture perfect, picture perfect situationship between them and the new supply. And it's just not the case, you know, because. They, they, they realise quick enough that they've been duped, that this new supply is just as toxic as they are. And they realise that they drew the short straw, you know. And oftentimes, you, if a lot of you, and you only have to read in the comment section, a lot of them downgrade, you know. When they go to these new supplies, it's like a clear downgrade. Like, you can see it with your own eyes that it's a clear downgrade, you know. You see them actually downgrade in front of your eyes and try and glorify shit and try to make shit shine like it's something great. You know, you actually see them do this before your eyes. This narcissist that was involved in your life, you actually see them do this. And, you know, if you can get over the hurt and the initial betrayal and stuff like that, um, you'll be able to see that they've downgraded. And that's all that you need to see for your closure, to know that they went on and downgraded. That's all you need to see, right? It's highly likely this new supply is not an empath. It's highly likely this new supply is not a chosen one like you are, right? And just for the naysayers, I always say this, but even if they were with an empath, just just disregard everything I've covered in this video. Just say they, they ran into another empath or chosen one, just for the people that say the possibility of that occurring. The thing is, is the narcissist that was involved in your life is accustomed to the way that you treated them. Another chosen one and another empath is going to treat them differently. Another chosen one or another empath might be educated and awakened already where they're going to see that this is a narcissist and they won't, in, they won't even endeavor into it. You know, they'll get out quicker than, quicker than anything, you know, for example. So it's 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 not likely that they're going to run into another unawakened empath and another unawakened chosen one you know i d i just don't think that the law of the universe lines lines things up that way you know part of them going with this new supply is their karma you know going with the downgrade they thought it was great they were delusional this all comes from their selfish ungrateful nature right they were selfish they were ungrateful they didn't appreciate you. They thought something was better, but the grass is not always green on the other side, right? That that quote or uh, sentence comes from something. The grass is not green on the other side, you know, or the other man's grass is not always greener, as they say, you know, <laughs> it's just not. They 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 were in the relationship with you. 
right? And and just 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 to clarify, this can also occur with friendships. It doesn't always have to be romantic relationships. It's going to occur with friendships, family members, colleagues, or associates. You know, they think something's better for them. They leave you high and dry. They they cut you off. They think something's better for their life, and it turns out not to be. They think the grass is greener. They get over there, like that commenter said. They get over there, and they're on astroturf. This is the way it occurs for them, right? So you need to know that they hold the new supply responsible because they feel like the new supply um, duped them into severing the ties with you. They feel like the new supply assisted, and they did, you know? The new supply was talking to them and they knew about you, you know? That, that proves that they're not an empath or a chosen one. Because it's highly likely none of you, unless you were tricked, would engage in a relationship of any kind if you knew that they had someone else in the picture, you know? Unless you were tricked, like I say. You know, they made out it was this way or something like that. But these new supplies, they knew about you. The narcissist used to reveal things about you, relieve stress, um, express to them about you, you know. And they made out that you were bad and you were this and you were that. And the new supplier was probably making out their situationship with their partner or their friend or whoever was also bad. And the the, 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 the narcissist that was involved in your life and the new supplier hashed a plan to, to join up, you know. And like I say, this doesn't just have to be romantic relationships. It could be friendships, family members, colleagues, associates. Um, all remains the same, you know. They basically hash together a plan to, to, to join up. And <laughs> they later both of them regret it. So even the new supply will be regretting the decision they've made. The narcissist that was involved in your life is pissed and frustrated and raging because... They've downgraded, you know, and they'll try and glorify it. They'll try and make out their own face. You know, they've already know they've burnt the bridge of you, you know, but they've downgraded and it's crystal clear that they've downgraded. You just need to look between the detail. It's crystal clear that they've downgraded. So if you'd like to find out more about the narcissist rage, click this video here. So anyway, thanks for watching today. I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.